So as you can see here, I am now in the process of finishing it, uh, beads and pieces and really looking for the movement of the hairs. But you can see, uh, you can see that uh, the way I have moved the pencil, it looks like uh, I have done those, you know, each and all the hair lines, you know, but it's not like that, you know, it's just the movement, it's just the flow, it's just the value arrangement, it's just the way the edges has been defined. And, uh, and the whole idea here that there has to be a, an amazing feeling of waviness in the hair. Uh, there has to be the line which should flow from that direction to different direction and that is what you need to uh, catch it while you are uh, doing that so uh, when I'm uh, using this uh, the sense of the flow it's it's all about uh, moving the pencil in that way you know and as you can see that uh, when I'm using the in the lighter areas I'm using the lighter pencil like H to H uh, so always uh, you need to change the pencil it always every time it depends according to the the way you are moving your uh, hand you know so uh, really uh, and always try to use eraser if you think any all the values are becoming too uh, too contrast on the most important thing is he thing here uh, which you need to consider is uh, is to not Accelerate the value contrast. You have to minimize the value contrast. Otherwise, you cannot focus on the entire hair. You know. Now, when I see the uh, drawing here, I can focus on the entire hair. It's, it's not that one area is in the focus, and that is what means balancing it. You know, balancing and in such a way that uh, the hair looks shiny because she has a shiny hair and uh, a wavy hair. And there is a lot of movement into the lines you know and that's kind of really important to really establish the sense of the movement of the values in such a way that uh, the things are arranged in a very nice order so right now uh, i have really uh, taken a thin eraser something like a very sharpened eraser uh, of knitted eraser and then i'm taking out some of the light uh, and that's it's, it's a very good way to create texture by the way uh, again, I told you that the texture can be created mostly in the middle light and a little bit uh, less into the lightest light area. So don't try to do too much of texture also because uh, it will be over uh, overwork, you know. Uh, you have to always learn to minimize the stuff also, not working each and every bits of the hair, you know. Only that much where you maintain the sense of the volume. Uh, you maintain that sense of the the likeness you also look for the designing of the hair the the hardest and the most important thing here is to learn the process of designing the hair you know because you cannot just put uh, each and every hair on, on the paper you have to select between that you, you and how to select that you would need to uh, select those hair lines which are in the movement you know which are more static then you can just ignore that and but uh, those things which are really moving in in like a s shape c shape you know a different uh, mostly you can see s shape c shape u shape you know those has with those which has a nice sense of the movement of the lines and that is what you should catch for so really practice well you know the hair is like really crucial uh, if you really want to master the portrait we, we kind of a little bit uh, uh, don't focus too much on the hair but the very very important stuff to get the portrait nicely done is to really study the different types of hair before that I saw I showed you the straight hair now this is a wavy hair maybe I will show one one more hair you know but the principle is the same the idea is the same you know you have to always start with the bigger picture look for the bigger volume look for control of edges form texture designing and everything will come together and it will give you an amazing sense to uh, develop the hair from uh, from this drawing on so practice many many different types of hair